Okay, today I'm going to be focusing on making this Easter egg. Uh, what you do is you get one of these from the Dollar Tree and you paint it with gesso. Then you take your paper that you want to use. I'm using this from Kay and Company. I've also used some from Bow Bunny right here. It's got really cute patterns and very spring-like Easter colors, and so does this one. Pastels, nice. And I turn it upside down. And now all I want to do is I want to trace this part. So as I, I put it upside down, I take a pencil. This one is a watercolor pencil, so I'm not too worried about that one. And then you go in and you trace it all the way around. And as you do that, then you go in a little bit, as much as you want to be shown. And this is like an eighth of an inch, and I'm gonna go all the way around. And I'm going to cut the inner line. Okay, and then I cut it out. And what I did was I took this blender from Tim Holtz and I took the purple archival ink. What is this called? Deep purple. And just dipped it in and just went around. And I inked up the edges. So there'd be a little bit of dimension in there. Now the colors I'm going to use are going to be purple. And for the purple, I painted it with purple cow and I inked up the edges as well with my uh, Tim Holtz blender. And then I am going to Mod Podge this on, but I'm going to use the iron method. And the iron method is where you paint on the Mod Podge. This is matte. Mod Podge. I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to dip it in the Mod Podge and just paint it on and let it dry. I do go all the way to the edge because I want to make sure the edges are down, even though I cut in like a sixteenth of an inch. But I just want to make sure it's all down. And this is clear anyways. So that's just what I did. Put it on kind of generously. And that should be good. Now I have my purple. I'm going to also do a blue and a pink. And I'm just going to wait for that to dry. And I'm going to take my top, and I'm gonna to have this be, and I'm going to put my parchment paper on top of it. Now I'm going to press my iron I'm going to hold it for about mm, five seconds, maybe. One, two, three, four, five. And move it. One, two, three, four, five. It's kind of awkward because this is actually my iron. <laughs> just keep it on there. I think you should just press it on there. And I guess about five or ten seconds. Let me see. And it's on there. Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how you can paint the little embellishments um, on your Easter eggs if you want to. The bunny, I just painted white. So you really don't need to do much more. Then give him a couple more coats if you want to make him pure white. And it's really quick. What I'm going to do for him, I'm just going to take this sponge brush from... Dollar Tree Crafter Square, 
and just paint it on. Makes it quick and easy. I did do a video on a bunny. I painted him just a, gr a gray bunny and it's basically like my video. So if you want to put more, a uh, little bit more details on him, you can watch that video. I'll link it. And then the butterfly, um, I'm going to paint it cotton candy. Ooh, that's way too much. All right. Just a quick coat of cotton candy. You can do the sides if you want. It's got that burnt edge. You, It's up to you. And with my little chick here, I'm going to paint him cad yellow. You could paint a, a lighter, a lighter color too. I, I've painted him both uh, cad yellow and banana cream. But this one, I'm just going to do cad yellow right here. Ooh. And try not to get any down like I just did. It makes it easier and faster. But again, you can paint the sides and it's not going to matter. Then I'm going to take um, some orange flame. You can do any orange you want. And let me get a paper towel. And I'll get a little bit on my brush and I'll just do his feet. Kind of like that. Okay. I'm going to dry this. Okay. Now I'm going to take the black and paint the little center of the butterfly. Take a tiny little liner. This is a 10 out for squirrel by Dynasty, right? Yeah, it's a rigger by Dynasty. And I'm just going to dip it into the black and just paint his head. And I'm going to take some burnt sienna and I'm going to shade very lightly. Very lightly. Just around the one side of him, not both sides, just one. And it'll also shade right under here. For my butterfly, as you see it right here, I'm going to take, I'm gonna use a different I'm going to use my angle shader, the size, the 3 8 size. And I'm going to take my wild berry. And I'm going to go right up against a little black part of the butterfly around and here. It's 
Same thing on the other side. You can use whatever colors you like. This is just, I'm gonna put this one on the pink egg. Okay. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Though I don't know that I need to. Okay. Now this guy right here, I'm going to take my rigger, this uh, 10 Ot rigger, and I'm going to get the banana cream, and I'm just going to make like some comma strokes on his wings. I'll start right here and push down and pull up. Push down and pull up. Push down and pull up. And then right here. And then right here. And you can also put them right here if you want. It's up to you. Now I'm gonna dry this. I'm gonna go back into my, what did I say that color was? I said wild berry, I'm, s oh it was. Right? Yeah, wild berry. And now I'm going to take and shade like right here. The bottom part. And the bottom part. Hmm. Let me dry that. I'll take my 15 knot micron. It's very tiny, and I'm going to dip it in the white. Now I'm going to take my white. I'm going to side load it and shade a little bit of white for the highlights, like right here. Right here. A little bit better. And instead of the dots being um, the same color down there, I'm going to make them, let's try making them cotton candy. Oh, I already got some out. So I'm gonna take the end of my brush, small, as small as you want, and I'm gonna start at the bottom and go up. One, two, 
three and one, one, two, three. I think he's good. You can uh, paint glitter paint on him if you want. So he's done. Um, let him dry. And now this one, I'm going to dry brush it. And I'm going to take the banana cream and get a lot of it out of my brush. I'm using the Joe Sonia Sure Touch Oval. It's a six. And I'm just going to rub into his little belly right here and among his right around his face. Just like that. Get a little bit more. Rub it off. And after you do that, let it dry. And I'm going to take another detail brush or uh, another dry brush. This one's a four. It's a little bit smaller. I'm only changing them out because I. This one's gonna have white in it, and I didn't want to get any yellow on it. But the six is fine too. So I'm gonna go around his face right here, and then down here. And then I'm going to go into my wild berry again and get almost all of it out because we're going to make some cheeks and we don't want to get them too dark unless you like them super dark. And go right at the corner of that little beak right there. One there. And there's your little duck, or your little little chicken. Okay. This is how I use this as a mini bodabra. I think it's mini. It's called, yeah, the mini bodabra. Um, you can also get the bigger one. There's just a regular bodabra. So this one's a mini, and this one's a regular size, just the bodabra. So. Whatever one you, this one makes bigger bows and this one makes smaller bows. But for my little Easter eggs, I'm gonna make the small, I'm gonna use a smaller one. And I'll show you how I use it. So I'll take this wire, this is some silver wire, and I'm gonna cut it off. And then I'm gonna stick it right through here, like that. And I'm gonna work it this way. Now, this ribbon is not double-sided, so this is a shiny side. So I'm going to twist it so that I'm going to fold over a shiny side. I'm going to twist it again. And I'm going to, what I do is usually I make the bow kind of like make it to the edge. Twist it again. And twist it. So it's a lot of twisting. And if that one's a little bit longer than that. So I'm going to take it to the edge again. And I twisted it already. And I'm going to twist it again. So that you can make it a little bit smaller the second time. And then twist it again, make it a little bit smaller. And the third one, I twisted it already. Twist it here, make it even a little bit smaller so it's kind of gradual decrease in size, and then like this. There you go. And I'm going to cut it right now. These are my crummy scissors, so I know I'm not going to get a really good cut. And now I'll take this little piece. I'm going to push it down. And then I'm going to tie my wired. You don't have to get wired. I just like the wired one. And then it kind of stacks. I like to smush it down and kind of 
fiddle with my string, my bow a little bit. and then find the side I want to tie. I'm gonna, I want it to be on this side. So I'm gonna take it around to the other side and tie another knot. And sometimes if you like the way they look, the little wires, you can curl them and use them or you can cut them off. But I'm going to put something in front of this anyways. So that's how I made the bow. Now for the fun part, it's decorating it. So um, here's my purple one. see they're still not so I'm going to take them and I'm going to cause them to go at an angle right here and at an angle let's see this way and now I'll take my lighter and I got a really cheap one I'll never get the cheapest one again. It's really hard to use. And I'm just gonna light it up and seal those edges. And now I'm gonna take my hot glue and decide how I wanna put it. And I just want it in the middle. So, put my hot glue right here and stick it down. And I can glue down the ribbon if I want to. Um, if I want to fiddle with it a little bit, but right now my flower, and what I did is I made flowers. I do a lot of flower making and I either put them in a case like this after I make them. It's kind of messy because I was looking through it. Some are bought and some are made. And also I put them in here by color. So this is my purple one. There's a pink one in here, but that way I can look through the colors I want. So, I'm going to use this one. This is made out of the, um, the flower making kind of spongy paper. It's from, what's it from? Just a second. It's from Crafter's Companion. It's flower forming foam and you make it and then you put it against an iron and then you can make the flowers. And this is done, I inked them. These are inked flowers. They're not painted or anything like that. It's all ink. And let's see. Okay, and these little bunny forms. The reason I never remember where I get them from is as soon as I get them, I have a number of these containers and I just drop them in here. So it either came from Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree. I'm not sure which one, but that's what they look like. And you can paint them. And some people just paint them like a white color or you can paint them just like a little you know, to give them some, a face and all their shapes. So I, this one, the, the gray one, I'm just going to put on here. I think he looks cute right here. So I'm going to stick him on there. Right about here. He's 
over by the flowers. This one's really pretty. Let's use those. So those two. What I have to do here is I have to clip off the... Take my jewelry clippers and clip them off. One. These I just bought on Amazon. You can, little tiny flowers. Let's put the purple one. Okay, I'm going to glue this little purple butterfly I made. And let's just do, I'll just glue it on the back right here. And I probably should have painted the back and get it down here. I'm going to take these two wires right here. Take those off, this flower, okay. and there's the purple one. I finished the pink one. I put three gemstones, and I know that I painted this butterfly. Actually, I tried to lighten up the, um, the strokes up here, but I kind of wanted a little bit lighter. I, I go back and forth, which one I should have uh, glued there but well that one's there now and then I put just a white rabbit just like the silhouette of a rabbit right there so that one and then I have the blue one the blue one started coming up and all I had to do was iron it again and it was fine so what I'm going to do oh you know what I have I'll probably put him here okay so what I'm going to do is take let me take i'm going to take this ribbon here and i'm going to wrap it around this ribbon now let's see and i'll do a twist and then i'm going to clip it off to my better scissors And so let's put the ribbon there. Right there. And push it down. I did, this ribbon here seemed a little bit like narrow, so I added another bow behind it. Now I made these, these flowers, um, Heartfelt Creations, I believe these are those flowers. And I'm going to, let's see, I think I'm gonna do that one. It sits in there really nicely. So. Right there. Okay. And this one too needs flowers. I don't know if I want to do another flower. 
Not sure about that. Let's take this little chick and let's push him down. Let's push him down pretty far. Pretty cute. Let's do these three like that. Hmm. You know what? Let's do three like that and let's add a little Easter egg. I think that might be cute. Let's do that. So I think that's good. So I have these three plus my yellow one and I'm just going to put these on a tiered tray. I think they turned out pretty cute. What do you think? Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!